Today's video is to celebrate World Juggling Day on June 17th. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and if you've already subscribed, thank you and welcome back. I am here today with Will Murray who is a professor of mathematics at Cal State Long Beach and a professional juggler. Will, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Why don't you tell a little bit about yourself and first of all, how you came about becoming a juggler. Sure, yeah. So I started juggling when I was in high school. I kind of lived out in the country and so I wasn't out playing soccer and basketball with all the other kids in town. So juggling is something that you can really practice on your own. You can learn it on your own. It wasn't until later that I discovered that juggling can also be a very social endeavor because it's really fun to get together with other people. We pass clubs back and forth. We have whole juggling conventions and festivals. So it's something that kind of as I got older became a way of connecting with other people as well. And so you've been juggling for how long now? I've been juggling for about 30 years. Wow. So for myself and for others out there who are maybe not so privy to what juggling is, can you tell us a little bit about the style and the form of juggling? Sure, there's, there's a whole big debate within the juggling community about different styles of juggling. For some people it's more of an artistic endeavor, for some people it's more of an athletic or sporting endeavor. There's also kind of the traditional circus style of juggling. There's also people working on sort of new experimental styles of juggling that you know maybe even other jugglers might not enjoy because they're just not used to it yet. So there's lots and lots of different styles. A metaphor that really works for me is to compare it to dancing because people might say oh is juggling an art or a sport or a hobby or something and I would say well what is dancing? Dancing is something, for me, it's primarily an art form, but it's also something that's very physical, and it's also something that people can do for recreation. In terms of juggling, what yeah. about juggling keeps you coming back? What is attracting you to keep coming back and learning and reinventing and just keep going? That's an interesting question because I have been doing it for a long time. There's always something new to learn. There's always something to work on. It's a really fun way to just sort of give your body some good exercise and it kind of relaxes you after you have a nice juggling session. It's also become something that has connected me to friends all over the world. It's, it's kind of a niche activity. With juggling, you know, there's not that many people locally and so you end up going to these conventions and sort of connecting with people all over the world. I'm now friends with people in England and Germany and Australia and we meet up at different conventions and it's a really exciting way to sort of plan your travel and meet new friends and connect with old friends and so that's definitely something that keeps me very interested and passionate about juggling. And so with juggling do you perform often and where? I'm an occasional performer. It, it's not a full-time thing for me but sometimes things just land in my lap. Being in Los Angeles sometimes people are filming commercials and they'll need a juggler and so I'll go audition and so I've had some good luck doing some things like that. I've done some performing in schools, I've done some performing in different circuses, just different events or operas or sporting events. Sometimes they'll be looking for that kind of entertainment and I'll be happy to jump in. How easy or how difficult is it to learn how to juggle? It's, it's one of those things that you can get the basics of pretty quickly. So I, I like to tell people that if they're willing to be a little bit patient with it, then I can probably get them doing a three ball cascade in about an hour's worth of practice. And so you can, you can start with a three ball cascade and progress and progress and learn all kinds of different things and it's really something you could easily spend the rest of your life without ever running out of new things to learn. And we're going to actually attempt to try and teach me a little bit in a little bit, so stick around for this. You're a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> and so do you also teach juggling? I do teach juggling. Sometimes I'll get hired by a school to come in and teach the kids juggling. So in terms of teaching, in terms of learning, is there a good age in which to learn to start learning? I would say, like a lot of things, people who learn as kids will learn very quickly. So in terms of learning quickly, you know, it's best to learn probably as a, as a young child. But it's a nice endeavor in that you can really learn it at any age. 
So I'm actually teachable. <laughs> we'll see. Absolutely. We'll see. Absolutely. <laughs> and what message or takeaway do you have for juggling enthusiasts? Well, I would say several messages. One is just to go for it, to, to jump right in kind of with both feet because it's, it's, it's a lot of fun and just any juggling session, you're going to feel better afterwards. Another thing I would say is to reach out and connect with other jugglers. We have these great juggling conventions and juggling festivals. They have them all over the world. There are local juggling groups that meet weekly in different cities. And it's really fun to connect with people. So when I teach people to juggle, we start with bean bags. A nice soft bean bags are kind of the best because when they land in your hand, your hand just sort of automatically closes around them. And we start with one, and we start with just throwing them back and forth from one hand to the other, just like this. And the reason you want to do that is that you want to have a lot of time to kind of throw it, there's all that time before it comes down, and you're going to use that time to put the other balls in. So you want to get comfortable just throwing it, waiting, letting the ball come back down to your hand. When we get really comfortable with that, we go to two balls and learn to throw two at a time, kind of in a crossing pattern. I throw one up like this and then the second one up like this. So we get this crossing pattern going. And basically what we're learning there is we're learning that when one ball comes down, we throw the next ball up underneath it and then catch the first one. When, I, when it's coming down, I'm gonna throw the second one up underneath it. Right now I'm starting with my right hand, and I can do the same thing starting with my left hand. You know, a common mistake is they'll throw both balls at the same time, and they'll both land at the same time. You'll wait too long, and you won't have a chance to get a good throw on the, with the second ball. Then it's time to add the third ball. I'm gonna throw one of these first. As it goes up and comes down, I'm gonna throw the second ball from my left hand, and that's the same thing that I was just doing. Except now as that second ball goes up and comes down, I'll throw the third ball from my right hand. And so each time a ball comes down to a hand, there's a ball in that hand that I throw up underneath the one that's coming down. So with three balls, when you first learn it, it's going to be pretty high and slow. And then gradually as you get more comfortable, it takes a while, but you get more comfortable, and you bring it down, and then it kind of looks like all three balls are moving at the same time, and it makes this pretty pattern. And we're going to start with a ball. I'm going to try to learn how to juggle, so don't judge me. <laughs> start with one ball. With one ball, okay. okay. And you want to hold it in one hand, you're going to throw it up a little bit higher than your head, and just let it come out to your other hand. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh. Excellent. I have a greater respect for jugglers. <laughs> Even just this little bit. So, we're going to go with two balls. Oh, and this is the... This is the this, You're going to throw the ball from your right hand. It's going to go up and cross. While it's in the air, you're going to throw the second one crossing underneath it. So it's one, two. So, you're going to throw this one here. While it's in the air, you're going to throw this one. Ideally, you're going to catch them both. Probably won't happen on the first try, but go ahead and try. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous, but I really am. I'm like, <laughs> all right, if you can come up really close, you'll see that I'm like super sweaty. So I'm really nervous. Okay, so that's what he says, right? Okay, <laughs> so it's really tough, tough, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, okay. that's, yeah, your timing's really good. That's, that's going to work. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh, so how do you avoid that? So what's going on right now is this hand's a little too far outside. Okay. So you're throwing up and then this hand is throwing right into it. Oh wow, you started with your left hand, but that works. Oh I did! Oh yeah, see, there's I told the you that was that's, that's that was crazy. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I don't know what the heck I am. I have identity crisis. I don't know what I am. Love or I'm okay, so Yeah, that's good. That's, yeah, that's good timing, that's good placement. Three balls. Three balls, you're gonna start with two in your right hand. You're gonna throw the first one up. So the first one's up here. As it's in the air, you're gonna throw that second one and catch that first one. So. <laughs> that 
was good. Her little, little sneaker was like perfect. I was thinking of that's what you said. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Um, okay. That's, yep, yep, yep. That's, Darn. your hand wants to do it. For watching this video and if you enjoyed this video please give be sure to give it a thumbs up this is Will Murray I will link his information down below you could also google his information on juggling don't forget that June 17th is world juggling day and thank you also very much for stopping by and don't forget to comment below let me know what you liked about this video if there's anything that you want to learn or know about juggling be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit this little bell here so anytime we upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment and like below. I am here today with Bill Murray. I wanted to say the comedian. <laughs> <laughs>